I'm afraid. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video first give it a big gigantic thumbs up likes 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 also we're having a nintendo switch oled console giveaway that's right giving away nintendo switch oled console i did what i was able <coughs> my allergies have been kicking up i was able to reserve two consoles i'm keeping one and giving away one to a lucky one you have to subscribe to the channel right now and two make sure you're following me on twitter let's get to the news bro big bombshell yesterday especially to fans of this series an all new well not an all new but dead space remake they're remaking dead space for next gen consoles ps5 and the xbox series line of consoles as well as pc ea announced this at their ea play um yesterday i stopped watching ea events because they've been ho-hum so i just get the highlights and the big news was the dead space um trailer this is the teaser trailer i don't really get hyped for cgi uh, i want to see gameplay but I tell you this, I've never really been a fan of the Dead Space series, never played a Dead Space game, so I wasn't too hyped for it, but I know that it's a dope game and it has a strong following, so an all new Dead Space game coming to a console near you. Next news item, bro. A major, major milestone for the PlayStation 5. According to VG Charts, the PlayStation 5 has now eclipsed 10 million consoles sold. Over 10 million consoles have been sold by PlayStation and a great feat. It continues to be the best-selling hardware in U.S. history up until this point. Um, I don't think about 39 weeks. That's when the Switch like really just started to take off. So we'll see what happens with the PS5. And so this is the current state of the console race. We all know the Switch has a four, five, almost five-year head start. Came out in 2017 um, at 88 million, which is nothing to shy at at all. PS5 over 10 million. And the Xbox Series X and S combined at 5.9 million. And it makes sense because Xbox isn't really emphasizing consoles. You can really get an Xbox ex experience on anything. On your PC, you're going to get the um, big Xbox AAA games. Um, with, with the PlayStation and Nintendo, <coughs> you have to buy their consoles to play those big first party games. But it's working for them. It's still raking in money. Sony's making a profit on their hardware already. So they're doing pretty good. 10 million, bro. Ain't nothing to shy at. I'm just saying. Next news item. Um, I'm going to say the Call of Duty news um, at the end with all, the whole controversy going on. But the next news item, bro, this is a pretty dope deal. Especially if you haven't picked up these games yet. Um, Crash Team Race, a crazy deal right now. You can get the Crash Trilogy. That's the three games. Um, Crash, Crash Insane Trilogy. That's three games in one. The Crash um, 4. Crash 4, it's about time. Bundled together. And Crash Team Racing also bundled with that for only $60 right now on the nintendo switch this is coming from forbes.com for 59.99 you can get one two three four that's five 
dope, amazing games for sixty dollars. Limited time. Go and hop on that um, this deal right now if you haven't picked up um, any of these games. And maybe say you just picked up one, but to get all of these games bundled, that's a dope deal. And it's in, in celebration of um, Crash's anniversary. I forget how many years. Twenty plus years. Um, crash anniversary so dope 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 deal bro the next news item more sale numbers for Zelda Skyward Sword are coming out and pretty good for the system Famitsu Famitsu these are just <coughs> the Japan sales numbers we already saw that the game is doing real good in the UK but in Japan Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD debuts at 159,000, over 159,000, almost 160,000. Now, compare that to the original Wii. The original Wii, however, did sell 194,000, close to 195,000. So, it's still, at least in Japan, the um, Switch version isn't outselling the Wii version. But Switch, Switch games have been selling good nonetheless. Interesting to see how the U.S. sales will be and what kind of legs this game will have on the Switch. The Switch and Nintendo first party games have all been breaking records, selling crazy. But this game is come, going up against a Wii launch. And at this time, this was the end of the Wii when the Wii had a super large install base. I think it was more than 88 uh, million at this time for the um, Wii. I think it was over 100,000, 100 million uh, for the Wii at this time. So interesting to see how the sales will fare out. But nonetheless, it's off to an amazing start. And the news that has been sweeping the internet this past day or so call of duty specifically activision blizzard and their work environment companies currently undergoing a major major lawsuit and it's for um discrimination and harassment from the female primarily female workers um, the, the lawsuit is complaining that the company has a, and I quote, a dude bro um, work environment where employees come in intoxicated, um, do a lot of inappropriate activities while they're at work, um, and, and um, discrimination is particularly against female employees. Uh, they're not able to advance in the company like their male counterparts. And just a bad, bad, bad uh, work environment, which is tough, bro. And so, companies undergoing a major lawsuit. But I have to tell you what's crazy about the situation and still sad. Call of Duty, mark my words, will be the best-selling, if not one of the best-selling games this coming year. The game continues to sell, and you got to think of the primary demographics of this game are what you could may call dude bro dudes. They're probably like, we don't care. We just want to play card, bro. <laughs> and so, <laughs> they don't all talk like that because I play Call of Duty too. But I think the game is still going to sell good in spite of um, all of these um, cases. Tough, tough, tough situation. All right. Those are all of the news items I have for this video. What am I going to be doing this morning? This morning, this morning. I'm, I'm going to try to hop on. I haven't really been doing any daytime gaming on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. We're going to play some Skyward Sword HD. I'm on. I'm on the first dungeon in the game. Let's see what I remember. I beat the, ga I beat the game on the Wii, but it's been a minute since um, I played it. So... I'll go over to my gaming channel, see if I'm on playing some Skyward Sword. And for me, the preferred way to play the game has been with uh, the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons, for me, have been working better than uh, the Pro Controllers. It just feels so annoying, the modification for controlling the camera. And then sometimes it's for the um, um, swinging of your sword. And, eh, can't deal with all that. All right, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, 
bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bruh we out peace